now let's see the uh, how this ground water will occur under the surface area or under the ground surface area let's see the occurrence of a ground water see uh, this is the image or this is the diagram of a ground water occurrence if you remember in chapter 3 water requirement of a crop we had seen the soil moisture irrigation relationship in this also uh, the picture is quite similar you can see there there is a ground surface there is a plant and the root the roots of the plant is uh, penetrated into the uh, or up to the depth of a uh, soil it is known as a soil water in the soil moisture irrigation relationship also the depth of a penetrated root zone or root of the plant is known as a root zone depth or soil zone depth so here also uh, the depth and the section from which the root of a plant in extracted the water for its nourishment is known as a soil water here they are dividing or they are giving us the zone in terms of the water only because we are dealing with the and ground water and we are studying the ground water of uh, meteorology or concept of a, we have to study the concept of the ground water hence all these parts or all these zones are divided in terms of a water only so you can see that the after the ground surface we have a soil water Uh, right now we are discuss about that uh, through which the root of a plant can easily extract the water for its nourishment then under this uh, you can see there is a gravitational water if you remember in the soil moisture irrigation relationship also we have a three zone the root zone depth then the intermediate zone that is also called as a hygroscopic water and under this we have a capillary zone or capillary water so capillary water is exactly above the ground water level surface uh, it means that the uh, surface and the water surface which is retained uh, because of the capillary action because of the molecular attraction which which will retain on the surface of the uh, water ground water hence uh, through this zone the plant if the plant is sown on the low lying area it can be easily extracted this water for its development for its nourishment so here also we have a gravitational water we have a capillary water and under this we have a ground water table so the part of the water which flows under the gravity action it directly flows downward direction and it meets to the ground water level this water is known as a ground water you can see that uh, here uh, the according to the ground water uh, philosophy this uh, parts and these zones again are divided into a two main zone that is zone of aeration and zone of saturation so the zone of aeration consists of the soil water zone that is first part soil water zone secondly intermediate zone that is uh, gravitational water it consists of the gravitational water and third one is the capillary zone which consists of a capillary water and you can see from the water table up to the bedrock or up to the impervious layer you have a zone of a saturation so through the pervious layer up to the impervious layer the uh, Uh, flow of a water which uh, allows or which transmit which store uh, in terms of a ground water table it the whole zone is called as a zone of a saturation the and above from the uh, uh, ground surface up to the capillary or up to the water level it is also called as a suspended water or a vedous water so this is the occurrence of a ground water see or uh, the uh, this water table how this occur uh, the saturated zone is bounded at the top by either limiting surface of the saturation or overlying impermeable strata and extends down to underlying impermeable strata in the absence of confining impermeable layer 
the static level of a water in well penetrating the zone of saturation is called as a water table and a water table is at the surface of a water body which is constantly adjusting itself towards an equilibrium condition if there were no recharge to or outflow from the ground water in basin the water table would eventually become horizontal so how this ground water will occur you better understand this again the that we had already discussed that the ground water zone divided into two type of a zone that is zone of aeration and zone of saturation i hope you understand this thank you